Hello fellow photographers. I'm excited today. I want to tell you about something I got. It's uh, another lighting piece of equipment. I need one like another hole in the head. But this, I tell you, is going to be excellent piece of equipment. You're going to want it after I show you everything that it does. It's called the Orbis. And uh, I'm going to open up the box. I'm going to, you know, I can't wait to see this. I've seen it online. I've seen it on YouTube. But I'm finally going to show you how this works. And uh, after that, you're going to be as excited as I am. Okay, uh, let's see. There's tape on here. And fingernails will open this. And voila. Let's see what we got. All right, I don't have the uh, measurements, but it appears to be about uh, nine inches. Pretty nice size. The hole should fit my lens because it's a ring flash. So it'll take almost any size lens. I got a lot of room in here. And uh, this is so we don't do on camera flash with a hot shoe. We now take the hot shoe off and we mount it in here. And this is very soft lighting. Um, I'll show you there's a series of mirrors in here. And uh, your flash goes in here, the head of your flash, your SB 600, 900, whatever. It should fit everything. It's pretty expandable. And all these mirrors send the light from your flash. Um, it's, it's frosted here because the hottest part is where it first hits. But it's very even, very soft produces quite an, a, a nice light, so I can't wait to try it myself. But um, we will uh, show you, let's see, I've got a 600, what do I have here, six or 800 flash. All right, the 600, the 800. And it would go in here. Okay, they make it look easy, there it goes, all right. And what you do is you would hold it. And shoot through it like this. So I'll change hands, but that's more or less the um, theory behind it. And that's kind of, uh, kind of tight. But I know that it will fit. I have an old Vivitar 283 here. And let's see, this should also fit. Come on. Yes, it does. OK. So I can hold that. What I might do is put a little Velcro and hold that down. Or I can hold it with my thumb and put my camera through it. And then I can shoot somebody over there. And that will fire. The reason we're doing this is we want TTL. There are ring flashes um, that use power. Um, this is a power pack. Alien B has their own ring flash. But this one is so you can take it with you constantly. I have a 600 flash. I believe that'll fit. It's smaller. So just to show you, yep. Everything fits. That fits a little down further. It's nice. So every flash you have should work. And like I said, it's open enough so almost all your lenses. I don't know a lens yet that uh, hasn't worked in there. All right, now I want to see what else is in the box here. Uh, a little piece of Velcro. Oh, that's probably good. That's what I wanted to do to hold that tight. Um, and we have a nice little uh, yellow bag probably glow in the dark. And that's, oh, that's big enough to put this in. Very good. That'll protect that. I can throw that in my camera bag now, and I won't, shouldn't scratch that up too much. But let's see. And that's it. Oh, there's a, there's a strap. OK, there's a strap that I can hook in little eyelet holes on each end. And uh, I'll have a neck strap. OK, that's nice. All right, they think of everything. OK. I know this is an imported item. It's not made uh, in the United States. 
All right. All right, the only thing that's required that you get this and they don't give you is the Nikon cord, okay? What we're doing here is Dynalite, Alien B, Profoto, a lot of companies have a ring flash. It is a beauty light for the modeling industry. Um, very much in favor right now and in vogue. And when you have the power pack, the Dynalites, whatever, the Alien Bs, you need it like another strobe and you're gonna to have to have somebody meter the subject. So if you move back and forth with the ring light, you re-meter. If the photographer stays seated and the model stays in her area, you've got the same exposure and that's fine. Um, but some of us would like to know how to use a ring light in the field. I can take this outside. I don't need any power pack, no electricity to plug in. We already have our strobes. So the maker of that found a way to use the TTL from this. And you could also use Nikon CLS system. I could use that wireless system. But to ensure that everything works, even outside, Nikon, Canon, all your companies, and even some uh, off brands on eBay, sell you this extension cord. And one end mounts on the camera. And that gets its information. And it talks to your f off camera flash. Now, a lot of times when I shot journalism, we would do this. This is an older cord, by the way. It's an SC-17. I think they're up to SC-29. So there may be some features that this doesn't pick up. Uh, Nikon has added depth to their uh, flash calculations. But more or less, all I need is the TTL. And when we used to do journalism shots, I, I, I know you've heard me. I detest putting a light on the camera. And so you can hold it off to the side, and I would shoot. So that's how that worked. And this cord has been put away for a while until I decided to buy this. So now I know that I can use this cord again. And we will put this in here. Turn this baby on. Now we're mounted to the camera. We've got the cord in place. We have this in place. And we've got a frosted material. This is to diffuse your flash. We don't want to do that straight on. That is a hard light. When we use an umbrella, we try to get soft light. A soft box is even softer still. So there's all kinds of modifiers that you put on your flash to soften that light because we don't want to go straight out and, and all the effects, the ill effects that that causes when you go straight out at somebody. Uh, we have used um, bounce cards on our flashes. We have used, uh, you know, that mount up here. Anything we try to do, there's a soft uh, diffuser that we'll put on our, anything to soften that up. But these are small items. And I, um, this, like I said, is about nine inches. This makes it much wider. And the bigger and the closer, we've said before, that's the softer light. So I can walk into somebody and get a close-up of the rings at a wedding. I could do macro flowers, which is what ring lights used to do a long time ago was macro work. And they fit it on the, on the lens. Um, this now is portable. So this can be held off camera. Also can be mounted on a stand. I have a stand here. And you can mount this on a stand later on and set it as you, if you had an umbrella. But it won't set sail outside in the wind like an umbrella would. The hole would probably let air go through it. And it would be nice. So this is a very versatile tool. I know it's called a ring flash and it's to do close-up work or do models in the studio. But it doesn't have to be used the way it was intended. There's so many multiple purposes. Um, it's about a $200 item just by itself. So don't let that fool you because, like I said, you don't need an umbrella and all the other equipment that you need to take with you. This could go outside. This could be in the house. Um, there's a lot of uses 
with this. All right, so this is what I would do if I wanted to fire at somebody over there. I could do a shot like that, get a little side lighting as high as I can hold it. And then if I did it the way it was intended, I would stick the camera through here. And anywhere I pointed, All right, and that's the way we use a, a ring flash. And I'll, later on, I'll show you some of the effects that it does. Now, what it does, one thing that you can look at and how you can notice in a magazine when you've seen it, this ring is in the pupil of the eye. So that's the catch light. You will see that little tiny ring. Now, as you get back further, it might not be a ring, but in a close-up, you'll see the actual ring. And it's, it's something that is you got to kind of like to learn to live or uh, love it and um, it's already in major magazines so obviously uh, it, it, it's something that uh, is in vogue and it, and it works. Um, later on we'll shoot some macro work maybe out in the garden outside but this has really nice soft light and yet it is different than the flash on top of the camera and that's what we're trying to achieve. So uh, we'll uh, play with some other stuff here and uh, I'll show you some of the shots that it's produced with this. Now I'm going to shoot some statuary here and we'll focus. Look at the back. All right, nice, but I see a little bit of shadows because it's mounted sideways. So its intended way is to give myself shadowless lighting because the light is all around in a ring shape so it doesn't cast any shadows. and we'll shoot through it. It is an accessory item and after playing with this I th think I want to try this. But it's the arm. Alright. And it's a, they call it an arm but it looks like um, a pretty interesting series of brackets. Uh, managed to get the bracket on and it holds it securely and I can take the handle of the camera and I can move it around in a little more freedom and I don't ha have a fear of this dropping out and there's a hole under here so this can mount on a stand. Um, so I recommend this bracket. It's, a, it's 200 for the uh, flash by itself, the accessory for your flash, and then another 50 for the arm, but it looks like it's more stable, and uh, I recommend that. And, yeah, because I can walk around and shoot various things in the room. And, uh, yeah, I like that. And uh, maybe the shade might come off. Perhaps that won't block some of the light over the top. That, I can see that happening with a wide angle. So uh, I can zoom. There's enough to get my hand in here to zoom. And uh, very nice. The softness in the, and, the ring, and the shadowless light is what I want because I don't want it up above my camera. And I can ha take it off and hold it wherever I want. But uh, very good combination. Now I'm going to show you uh, a human subject. And Ken, are you human? I am. Okay, this is a uh, good friend, Ken. Um, he's about uh, a, a foot maybe away from the wall because one of the other telltale things besides the ring and the catch light is it gives a soft halo effect around the body. And you'll see that in your fashion magazines. So I'm going to reproduce that. And, that's, and the beauty is that I don't have to meet her. Everything is TTL, so it's going through the lens and will give me an exposure based on the distance. So let me back a little bit and zoom out. And there you go, one, two. Okay. Very good, I see that soft shadow. 
Now I'm going to get a little closer because I want to show you the rings in his eyes. Uh, open your eyes real, real bright. And let me get a focus here. There we go. All right, and that should do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be on the uh, 11 o'clock news tonight. There probably was a robbery somewhere with his face. Now I'm taking Ken outside, and we're going to see how it, TTL, but it's going to uh, measure and give me a good balanced light for exposure with flash and outdoors. So we'll get Ken in a nice pose. Everything's fine, and I can also do a uh, vertical. Look at that. Okay, and nice, even, shadowless lighting. I don't have any sh shadows over on the building. It looks really good. Now I'm going to do some uh, flowers. So let's try that. All right, now I'm going to shoot a little household plan here. But I'm really getting comfortable with this. These are the first shots I've, you saw me take it out of the box. So I'm getting comfortable with this. Let me try some close-ups. And we will, I can have it in autofocus, but I'm going to try one here. And looks good. Looks good. It's got a little shine on the leaves. And let's see how far back I can go. Very nice, so it works. I could do the ring shots, I could do um, the table settings, I can do a passage on the Bible. Um, there's a lot of things I can do with weddings and stuff like this, that's really nice. Uh, I wanna close by saying, make lighting your friend. And uh, this is my friend, I think, the Orbis. I think it and I are gonna do pretty well together. Thank you.